Here is DNA. You can't get DNA without a cell. You can't get a living cell without DNA. So uh, how does that work? And what seems to me to be happening, and I've actually written quite a lot about this in, my, in a recent book, Cosmic Chemistry, Do God and Science Mix, that there appears to be a top-down causation, and it leads to a huge problem because it was enough level of complexity to discover that the DNA molecule was not simply complex, it was linguistically complex. Mm -hmm. That is, it gave us a 3.4 billion letter long word in uh, a chemical alphabet. And all those letters had to be in the right order. That is a stupendous level of complexity, which is no chance of being generated by random processes. And Richard Dawkins agrees with that. He, right. he brings in uh, something that, uh, that natural selection actually has a different kind of operation, but we're not going to that at the moment. But the point is now, with the more recent discoveries of the nature of the living cell and all the chemical factories in it, there are levels upon levels of complexity beyond the genome. And that just beggars into uh, unbelief mm. the possibility that any known mechanism can produce that without the input of intelligence. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm in your boat, but <laughs> but at an even sort of lower level below the deck in that it's not just so much outside of my scientific expertise, biology, but I, I'm I'm not even a scientist. 